Hawaii has a law that gets in the way of doing a Zoom with the doctor on the mainland, but official reports show that we're short hundreds of doctors, so shouldn't you be able to Zoom with them if you want to? In this video, we'll explore why Hawaii has virtually banned this and talk about what can be done to fix that. Let's say you need a specialist who practices only on the mainland. You're going to have to take a long and expensive flight to get care from that doctor. The more affordable option is telemedicine. That's a virtual meeting online with a healthcare professional. Telemedicine has become more popular, reliable, and convenient. And because of our healthcare shortage, telemedicine is in greater demand for our Hawaii residents. But there's a problem with that remedy. A year ago, I was diagnosed with a, a situation that could be life-threatening. Uh, so I've uh, gone through a lot of procedures here to investigate the, uh, my condition and and I was advised by my doctor to, to consult with other doctors about uh, specialists about what to do about it. My understanding is that some of the best doctors in the world are in California. So I contacted them and, and reached out and said, well, can, can I uh, have a, a, a conference call with you to, to do this? And they, they said, sure, sure, we'll set up a conference call, discuss your situation. It'll only take about half an hour to meet with the doctor and to discuss your situation. And then they said, well, where are you from? And I said, well, I'm, I live in Hawaii. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We, we, can't, uh, we can't do a video conference call in Hawaii because of these licensing uh, problems that, uh, that come up in the state of Hawaii. So uh, um, you'll have to come here. Why do patients from Hawaii have to travel out of state to see a specialist when all they need is an initial consultation? Because telehealth between a Hawaii resident and an out-of-state doctor is not permitted due to Hawaii licensing laws. And that puts even more strain on Hawaii residents battling personal health issues. Check this out. Mainland doctors can't even conduct medical appointments with their own family members living in Hawaii. Personally, I have experienced a situation with my own family. Uh, my son is, uh, lives outside the continental United States in Hawaii. Um, he's a service member, uh, and he has a lovely wife and my grandson. And being a family member, of course, I have intimate knowledge of their family and would be uh, an especially valuable adjunct considering my experience in medicine and uh, my rapport with them. Uh, but we're hampered by regulations that really prevent us from interacting with our own family. But for a short time, telemedicine appointments were allowed for Hawaii residents because of the COVID lockdowns. Through executive order, the Hawaii governor at the time, Governor David Ige, expanded telehealth services. His March 2020 proclamation allowed out-of-state physicians, osteopaths, and physicians assistants with valid licenses to conduct online meetings with patients in Hawaii. However, that part of the COVID-19 emergency proclamation expired in August 2021, which meant that Hawaii patients once again had to travel to the mainland for even simple consultations with specialists that they could only find outside of Hawaii. One was in San Francisco and another was in Los Angeles. So, uh, well, I made an appointment, but I thought, gee, this is uh, really problematic. You know, I have the huge cost of traveling there. How do I arrange who I'm going to stay with? Uh, uh, what do I do with about my work to be away from that? So what's the solution? At the federal level, Hawaii U.S. Senator Brian Schatz three years ago introduced the Connect for Health Act, which would make permanent the emergency measures expanding telehealth for Medicare beneficiaries. Telehealth is the future of healthcare, and right now, the future is bright. It's bright for patients who have easier access to care. It's bright for healthcare providers who can better meet the needs of their patients. It's bright for public health because it boosts our efforts at prevention. And it's bright for the American taxpayer because it cuts costs and saves money. The challenge with telehealth is that our laws are outdated. They were written long before the first iPhone was envisioned. And because of that, we have many restrictions in place for Medicare about originating sites, geographic limitations. It would be even better to allow telehealth for everyone in Hawaii, not just Medicare beneficiaries, but it's a good first step anyways. Now, Senator Schott's Connect for Health Act has not passed yet, and his office said he'll be reintroducing it to Congress this summer. The care that and the treatment and the pre-designated uh, 
diagnosis and all of that sort of stuff can take place in that that patient's uh, physician's office in Hawaii. So they go to their doctor's office, they bring in the expert physician from MD Anderson by a telelink or that sort of thing. And so while you're the patient, you are there with your trusted physician, um, getting the diagnosis, doing all of that sort of thing with, with as a joint um, evaluation by the two physicians. You would then go to MD Anderson, get your treatment, and then you can come home and you can do your post-treatment here. It's very, very inconvenient and, and costly in time and money to, to go and do these uh, appointments in, in uh, California. Uh, just to have a 30-minute call that could easily be done by a video conference call. It seems uh, almost shameful that that a patient would have to travel across the ocean, basically, again, to to receive the, the specialty care that they need. If access to care is a priority, uh, which I think it is near the top of priorities, um, then we should be making regulations that as long as patient safety and confidentiality is maintained, uh, use all the services that are available. Now for more information on how you can be part of the solution to lower your expenses and get the health care you deserve, go to grassrootinstitute.org. And if you have a story to tell us about how difficult it is to access health care in Hawaii, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and to find out when we make another video, be sure to subscribe.